What's going on, Junkie Nation? Gorgeous George and Goes are back with another superstar from the sport of mixed martial arts and boxing. Chris Cyborg, the legend, is going to join us here. We're going to talk about the big boxing event that's coming up here with Bud Crawford against, uh, the, uh, did I spell it right? Avin, Avanesian. There you go. Crawford versus Avanesian. It's a pay-per-view event, and you can watch it uh, pay via Dish, DirecTV, or In Demand. Go to at Chris Cyborg for all the links. Chris is in the coming event against Gabriel Holloway, listo para el boxeo, campeón. Yes, uh, thank you for introducing me. We're really happy to be here, and I'm very excited for this card. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, and you know, I loved when I was looking at the at the social media, the Grand Slam champion. That's the perfect name, the Grand Slam. Those four belts that yeah. you carry in MMA, such a legendary status. I've always loved that. But let's let's focus on the boxing first. This is your second fight. This is your debut in the United States, and yes. you're fighting a young lady who's got more boxing experience and also some MMA experience. Talk about the matchup, and uh, you know your excitement for debuting in boxing in the United States. Yes, you know I'm really happy with my first boxing fight in the United States. I have a lot of fans here. Seven Nation growing, growing, and you know for me it's a nice opportunity. You know I'm happy. You know, uh, Gabriela, she's accepted the fight for the great fight for the fans. I know she have experience, you know, but I'm looking for the great fight for my fans. And I know she's going to be ready and then be ready for the great. Compare the butterflies of a boxing event fight week and an MMA uh, fight week. You know, usually I have to cut a lot of weight for the MMA fight. Boxing, we do like 154 pounds. Usually I fight uh, boxing, MMA, 145. So it's a little bit different. I can chill a little bit with my team. And usually that would be cut away to know for my box MMA fight. Do you have nerves at all about boxing or is it more fun than nerves? Uh, it's not about the nerves, you know, for sure. You know, a lot of... You think a lot of want to do great, you know, it's different sports. I respect everyone doing boxing. You know, I know it's I come for different words than MMA to boxing. And but they train really hard for me, giving me a little bit of confidence. And you know, when God opened the door for you because you're ready and I just want to do great, you know. I always want to do great in the fight and the victory is a consequence, you know, but I want to do my best. However, your name carries a legendary status. So do you feel like there's a little more pressure to, de to deliver legendary performances, whether it's grappling, MMA, Muay Thai, and now boxing. Or do you feel like, you know, someone that's just a rookie starting out, take it easy, don't judge me yet, people. You know, I believe like I don't have to prove anything. I think I did a lot of for sports. And, and then for me, you know, it's one of my dream doing boxing fights. And for sure, you know, I, I want to do great and the good, good fights. I want to bring the fans from MMA to the box and the box to MMA, show my work different too. So as, as I feel like uh, thankful and I feel ready, you know, for do great. And the whole my career, you know, MMA, I always like to strike my fight, my, the girls I fight. So this is a good thing, you know, I, 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 I love, you know, finish the fight to stand up. Compare your mindset. You only have two minutes to work each round, but you get eight rounds versus MMA most of the time you're in title fight. So it's five minutes, five rounds. Do you have to, can you plan out each round individually or does some rounds set up other rounds just because the time goes so fast? How does that work for you? You know, this is one of the things I've been working because it really training for one round, the five minutes is different than two minutes. So this is one thing in my team, my team together, um, make you know it's very quick round. You know, have too much think time to think. You have to you know get the victory. So uh, I've been working this. I know it's different. Two minutes is different. Chris in mixed martial arts, uh, there is what's called the Chris Cyborg style, right? Uh, of striking. When you go over to boxing, do you have to transform that, or can you kind of adapt a Chris Cyborg style into boxing? You know, I've been working. Uh, for sure, I don't want to change my style. My team don't want to change my style. I'm going to get it better. You know, better touch it. Don't get it touchy. Move around. Move your head. Move your foot, feet. I think there's a lot of things, you know, we can put it, put it together for be better. Uh, I got a lot of success in MMA. But for sure, box is different sports. And I'm humbly getting learning every day for doing my best I can. 
So a lot of people in mixed martial arts that have transferred over to boxing show a lot of respect towards boxing and trying to learn the style and all that. Um, but when it comes to fight night, a lot of the producers or the uh, the commentators will say, uh, this person's representing MMA in boxing. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're a mixed martial artist representing mixed martial arts in boxing? Or do you just want to be Chris Cyborg, the boxer at that time? No, for sure. It's not my legacy. I I, I, mean, I did it for MMA. It's going to continue in my journey. You know, for sure, they're going to say I'm from MMA. This is a good thing because, you know, you bring it to the boxing fan to MMA and the MMA to the boxing fans. For sure, my legs MMA is going to continue still. You know, it just this is it's a little a little challenge, a different way, you know. And But for sure, the people are going to know me a Chris Cyber for MMA. When you do make the return back to MMA, do you feel like the offense or defense from boxing, which one are you most excited to show off? Uh, I believe timing, and I think uh, I think the take a hit and the more you get a less hit. I think this is the goal, and and I believe I believe the timing. You know, giving me giving more. Com- I'm already feel very confident in stand up, but for sure when you improve it, get it better, and the always when you compete separate the 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 sport help a lot for a MMA game. When you train in MMA, you obviously train boxing. But now that you've come over to just boxing, what have your boxing trainers told you? Do you have a lot of good habits that you brought over? Did they have to tweak a couple bad habits or any habits? Or how was it changing your boxing for MMA to apply now for boxing for boxing? Uh, I believe I'm going to um, continue aggressive. I think the one uh, good thing I have, I'm not afraid to punch. And and they take the punch too. Just but you have to be smarter, you know. Have to be smart in the fight. So and I've been learning. I believe I think the couple of fights in MMA, you know, I'm getting better. Uh, and and better, you know. I have a patient to wait for the opportunity to come. Do you have a favorite punch that you've developed in boxing that you like throwing? Everyone, if it work, left the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Do you ever have a reflex where you maybe throw a combo and want to finish with a leg kick or accidentally want to maybe throw an elbow? Like, are you able to compartmentalize from sport to sport or do the instincts ever come out? You know, but sometimes you're in the clinch, you want to do some knees, you know, take down. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I've been working a lot of sparring for the boxing when I have MMA fights. So I've been working a lot of this. So I don't have too much think about this, you know. And I love I love finish with my hands, you know. This is the one. Sometimes I have a fight opportunity to submission, and they say, "No way, I'm gonna do ground and pound." So I like it. How heavy are the gloves that you wear in boxing? Do you know how many ounces? Uh, eight ounces, and then eight, eight four ounces. Yeah. Okay, and so you get to fight on a card where Bud Crawford is headlining in his hometown. Do you know Terence Crawford pretty well? And who are some of your favorite boxers that you feel like maybe your style is similar to theirs? You know, this is a, a new word for me, but for sure, I was a big fan of Pacquiao. Uh, not just the house is fighting, but the way he's handling, he's taking care of his country. And, you know, and they have a lot of big names too. I don't know Crawford in person, but I meet him on time. We take pictures together. Uh, but I feel honored to have the opportunity to fight the same card than him. And I know he's a big star in boxing. Yeah. All right. So Saturday, December 10th, Chris Cyborg versus Gabriel Holloway, co-main event of the Crawford uh, Avanesian. I got to look over here. Uh, Main event. And folks, order it. You'll love it. You get to see Chris Cyborg uh, now in this new sport of boxing. This is her second this is her second time boxing, but she's done it all. She's grappled. She's fought Muay Thai. I saw her fight, lion fight here in Las Vegas. Yeah. So yeah, that's a, is Muay Thai your first love or or MMA or which one's your first love? Uh, I start with boxing, but then I go to shoot the boxes MMA gym. But oh. the more the more Muay Thai, Muay yeah. Thai and the ground and pound, and after I start learning Jiu Jitsu, everything <coughs> trends separate. Yes. Yeah. All right. So Chris, just before we finish, a couple MMA questions. When you return to MMA. Uh, are you for sure returning to Bellator? Because I think you're a free agent. Can can you talk to the other organizations at all, or or do you want to? You know, I'm free for talk to another organization, but you know, I'm a Bellator champion. I believe I'm gonna sign with them, and I've been looking for a fight summer, MMA summer with Cats and Gun. 
Katsingano. Okay. And then lastly, um, with, you know, I think you said you've been open to open to promotions, you know, cross promoting. We know the UFC probably doesn't do that. PFL. I know that there's the Kayla uh, fight that's been talked about and Larissa Pacheco saying, Hey, don't forget about me. I just beat Kayla. I want to be involved in the talks of the great fighters, you know, uh, in women's MMA. Does it appeal to you to fight a fellow Brazilian like Larissa Pacheco if that opportunity came up as well? You know, for sure. You know, I always have to be ready for challenges. And I'm in Fox for the Cats and Gunners next. But, you know, let's see what's going to be next. And Bella Tor always, you know, work together. And let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. For sure, Pacheco knows the win and the great victory. And continue doing the journey and doing nice. And the last question is, when you have talked to Coker about cross promotion has he told you five percent chance it can happen with pfl zero percent eighty percent has he told you is it is that even likely or should we just stop asking that question about the cross promotion to, between pfl and and bellator you know uh bellator they're gonna do an event for reason in japan so i don't think you have any problem to do this uh mm -hmm. but we never have the contact to talk about this I think uh, PFL just put social media, but we never sit down and uh, any communication about this fight. So I just uh, I believe it in looking for for raising money for doing the next season, and mm -hmm. but nothing concrete. All right. Well, Chris, I just want to tell you we have something in common. I'm also a Grand Slam champion. Uh, nice. I can put away that Denny's Grand Slam breakfast anytime, but I <laughs> wish I was a Grand Slam champion like you. Bellator, Invicta, UFC, Strike Force. Man, that's awesome. What a legendary career. We appreciate the time and we look forward to watching you in the squared circle, the sweet science watching you box versus Gabriel Holloway. Thank you so much, you guys.